Making her jealous is not gonna work. We're not in seventh grade. Trust me, bro. We're all in seventh grade when it comes to this stuff. They've already gone through all of the bullshit trying to trick us into each other's arms. Let's just embrace it. There's no way we can convince anyone we actually like each other. Yeah, you're right. I know. You know, I still think about that night we spent together. Shut up. No, I'm serious. You know, this could be kind of fun. We're at a wedding a million miles away from home. Who knows what could happen under the cover of a masquerade. And that night at your place, no matter how it ended, it was still pretty amazing. Convincing enough? Fuck it. Let's do it. Hey, you're done. Wow. This is Look just at. so romantic. Okay. Nuzzle my neck. Okay. Get in there. Damn, you are short. You are not tall enough to say that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, are you ticklish? No, I'm acting. Like a toddler? <laughs> no, go. Mm. Okay, all right, you stop. Mm. Beg me. Beg me to stop me. Bitch, stop! Just let me do it. Permission to put my left hand on your right buttock. Granted. <clears throat> Too hard. Sorry. Go sell it. Okay, not in circles. It's not a magic lamp. What? Playing bop it. I've never rubbed a buffer show. Clearly, you try. Are you not wearing underwear? It's a swimsuit. I'm on holiday. Ooh. Okay, just mind the gap. How's that? That's good. Just like, but you don't have to hover. Just kind of. Oh man, the woods. I'm sorry. Okay, just take it out. You try. If you want me to stick my finger in my own ass, how's that gonna convince? Mm. Oh, on you. I can't. Jesus Christ, it's like a vacuum pack down here. How'd you get in this thing? Well, that's tight. Oh, see, it's like holding a baby bird. God damn it. Were they not watching this whole time? Like a, a mole or something on your butt? No. Really? Because I feel something. I don't have a mole. Oh. What the <laughs> fuck? Officer Morales! I mean, Officer Morales! This is not what it looks like. Hey! Hey! Officer. My kid goes here, man! This is fucking. I'm on the PTA! You know how many lemon bars I gotta make for that? You left in the middle of a fight. I did not. It was actually. Are you me. serious? It was inconsiderate and super rude. And a little cocky. Yeah, you got me agreeing with the bad guy right now. Bad guy? He's barely a villain of the week. What'd you call me? You realize I'm right Come here. Come on, man. Everything! Ah. Under control! Oh, oh, wow. Of course we'd end up back here. Yeah, you know what? You look just like my son. I am? I... <laughs> That's so silly. I... <laughs> Imagine that. Back where it all started! Go! The crucible of our connection! Hey, don't try to wow me. Coming back to you, what are you talking about the creation event. What? Uh, yeah. Okay, we got cut off. This is our summer uh, uh, Nothing is uh, more important than family. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Uh, destiny brought us here. You see now, don't you? I, I really don't. I am your nemesis. You are not. You miss. You can't contain the Ow! You really don't remember what you did to me? What I did for you? Uh, no. I worked at Alchemax. I ran a test on this collider that brought a spider here from another dimension. 42. It's home dimension. 
It escaped, and it bit you. My spider made you Spider-Man. What? You ran through the cafeteria. You hit me with a bagel. Ah! I've hit a lot of different villains with a lot of different food. You make your flippy little sassy jokes. Everyone loves them. But no one knows what it feels like to be on the other side of them. I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Dude. I created you. You created me. Spider-Man, why did you create that guy? I didn't. He's talking crazy. I was in this collider room when you blew it up! Because of you, I lost my job, my life, my face. My family won't even look at me. I made you into a hero. You made me into this. Look at me. You did this to me. Look at me. I'll make you respect me. Where'd he go? He kicked his own butt. Huh? All stations, drop what you're doing and stop Spider-Man. You? you? Wait, you? 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 I you? 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 Miles, Miles Morales. He's entering Sector Four. Do I uh have web on my face? What's the deal? Miles, he's right there. He's going to turn around. I don't see anything, boss. Died. On the count of three, draw one. Uh, get it away from three! Hey, look out! Can you take a photo of this? It's her first chase. I'm a huge fan of your work. Thanks. Do you think spider people too often use comedy as crutch? Uh, Get it? Crutch? I can do anything he can. Oh, dang, I pulled something. Ah! Whoa, whoa. My bad, everybody. There was somewhere to run. That's your car? It is for tonight. Actually, um, you know what? Uh, this sucks, but I, I just remembered I rode my bike here, so I, this is what, th I'll, go, I'll go on this. Well, that's okay. I can just throw it in the back. You can ride up front with me. Come on, I won't bite. Unless you want me to. Okay, but no biting. I mean, yeah, whatever. I've been with girls a couple times. Where's the rest of my seatbelt? It's a lap belt. Just pretend you're on an airplane. I'll be your flight attendant. Why is the flight attendant flying the plane? Because I've killed the pilot and taken over the plane. You're my hostage. This isn't the way to my house. 
a shortcut. Give me that. What are you doing? Cut our generation on our phones, huh? We're home. Ooh. What you got down there? Something for me? Why? You tried kidnapping me! I can't kidnap you, you're 19, grow up! You put me in a van and you took my phone! If I were kidnapping you, would I give you all my personal information first? God, why couldn't you have used your rape whistle? Why would I have a rape whistle? Why do you have fucking mace? Sorry. Will you get the hose, please? Uh, uh, it's broken. Is the water on? You have to turn the the water on? Are you fucking with me? I just thought maybe it was our day. The spigot. Oh. The spigot! Okay. God. Oh. Fuck! Uh. Ah! Stop spraying me with I'm this. sorry, I, I'm trying to help! I'm sorry. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh. I'm so sorry, I just didn't know what you were trying to do. <laughs> I just thought you were hot. You think I'm hot? Yeah, I think you're super hot. Well, maybe we should go on a date then? <laughs> I'll go throw another dress on. Oh no, I, did, I didn't mean now, I meant, you know, t tomorrow. Like, a real date. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay, tomorrow then. Thank you for the ride. Bye. Have you seen Percy? <laughs> Is that funny? He's with Natalie upstairs. Your name's Percy? Yeah. Percy? Sorry, continue. Percy? Doesn't anyone fuck anymore? Percy? Percy? Open this door! Percy! Percy, open this door, this is your last chance. Did you oh, fuck no, him? No, no, please, nothing happened. The room is spinning. You're drunk already? No, no, he took something. I don't know. I think it was a pill. He Percy, did you take something? Percy, did you take a pill? <sighs> Stick your fingers down your throat. Make yourself throw up. I don't want Just to. deeper, <laughs> deeper. <laughs> 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 No! <laughs> Let me do it! Do you feel better? Not even at all. I didn't know you couldn't drink on ibuprofen. That's what you took? Found them. Who told the joke? Okay, who told the joke? Your fucking parents are here? You think our son would have a party without our consent? Uh, that's it. Come on, you don't belong here. I don't belong here. I fucking lived here my whole life. You don't belong here. You don't belong at a high school party, miss. 
Oh, well, yeah, we're leaving. Okay, then let's let me stay just get no, just stay back. Okay? I said, let just let go of stay her. Stay back. Oh. Get out of here. Come on. Don't let's touch me. Oh, 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 Je ne sais pas.
He is not here! The little piggy is slopping at Hell's trough, where he belongs. I know you're here, Gabriel. Pray with me. God is not here! God is always in our hearts. Focus on the prayer. Where two of you gather. In my name, there am I! Lord, have mercy! Say it! Lord, have mercy! God is with you, Gabriele. Find him! Finish it, Tomas! Finish it! Deus in nomine! Duo salvum e fac! For you did shield too! Be sure they cause a man! Deus ex audi oration and man! Intende vermis forest me! Give up! He's mine! I adjure you in the name of the spotless lamb! The Lord made flesh commands you! Asmodeus! Jesus of Nazareth commands you! And now I adjure you in his name! Lord, take my letter! Say it! No! We're not done yet. You're coming to hell, priests. I will take you both. Ten of you, yeah. hailing from eight different countries, are the best sim racers in the world. You've overcome incredible odds to be here. Now you stand on this track with enormous opportunity. The winner will earn a seat on Team Nissan and a place in racing history. Now please meet our chief engineer, the man who's gonna teach you all how to do it, Jack Salter. It was a freaking legend. So, 
All these folks behind me are keen on y'all proving you can do the impossible. Well, I'm here to prove that you can't. Hi. What's your name? Uh, Jan Mortimer. Jan. All right, tall. Fit in a race car? Uh, I don't know. I guess in the game, I do. <laughs> uh, this is not a game. <laughs> Racing. It takes strength, it takes tremendous will, intelligence, sensitivity. It's only a handful of people in the entire world who can do it at the level that you're gonna be asked to do it. When you're in a race, the G-forces will be twice what an astronaut experiences upon liftoff. And it's under these conditions that you're gonna be forced to make split-second decisions that could cost you your life, or worse, you could kill someone else. These are incredible stakes. And if you're not willing to risk it, I want you to walk away. There's absolutely no shame. Because if you stay, I'm going to push you harder than you have ever been pushed. And I'm going to prove that you don't have what it takes. Because to take one look at any of you, I can already tell that you don't. Welcome. Great pep talk, Churchill. Uh, I think I got the point. Look, this was my dream. To take sim racers, put them into real cars, and have them race against professional drivers. Now is your chance to turn dreams into reality. Let's go! <laughs> It's the first time you've been in a race car, as opposed to sitting in front of a computer screen. There's a lot of similarities when it comes to throttle, when it comes to braking. How to take turns, how to use brakes and find your line on the track. I think this is the chance we've all been looking for to actually become what we wanted to do our whole lives. You never know how high you can achieve, dreams can come true. All right, Yen. Yeah? Okay. Yes. And just remember, this whole thing is about press readiness, okay? Action. When did you know that you wanted to be a racer? Uh, well, I like cars since I was a kid. Go, go, go! Come on! You're going to compete in different exercises so that we can determine whose sim skills translate to driving a real car. I wasn't prepared for just how physical the demands of the car were going to be. What do you think about your competitors? They're great. How about Maddie? To each his own, he's obviously very confident. Good for him. What do you think about Jan? Jan is the same as any other driver on the track, just another car to pass. Maddie with the answers. Better strap in too, man. We're about to go fast. Hey, let's see it. We're gamers, we're competitive people. Let's go, keep it clean, come on! This entire thing is a marketing extravaganza. Get in the chopper, let us get a few shots. Doing what? Follow the kids around the track, make some notes, act like an engineer, look cool. There's no <laughs> way I would evaluate race car drivers from a helicopter. It's the dumbest thing I have ever heard in my whole life. I'm not getting in that thing. Looking good, Maddie. Looking good on the straight there. Nice line. I will be your judge. I will be your jury. All right, come on, you gamer kids. This must be a new experience for you. Last time you stretched your legs was to go get another packet of hot pockets from the freezer. You get tired, you get sloppy, you get sloppy, you get hurt, then you lose races. I heard Let's your trainer, go. Jack, can be a little hard on oh, the team. God, yeah. I mean, he's, he means it well. He's tough, but it's like tough love. I need you to be faster than this. Don't think, just react. You're gonna be hot in the car, you're gonna be tired. Focus! <laughs>
Jack thinks we just suck. Grabbed a bunch of cones back there. Extra points. And I will decide who is eliminated. I'm coming in. Close that gap. Close that gap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry about the car. Good luck. We'll cut you down to five. Those five will compete in a final race. Bye. Got. Ah, keep going. Keep going. If your name's below the red line at the end of this, you're out. You're ruining my enjoyment of these chips. Whoa, hello. I didn't think it was going to be so physically demanding. <coughs> you puked on my lawn. Bye, Henry. Goodbye, Chloe. I wasn't into sports, and I didn't know that we had so much working out. Klaus? <sighs> Have a word? Good effort, son. Here's a cap and a shirt for you. See that car? That'll take you home. Cool. Bye, Klaus. And what's your biggest fear? I guess going home and proving everybody right. <laughs> you know that, that this, it was impossible, that this wasn't meant to be.
Impact imminent. Impact imminent. Impact imminent. Okay, you comfortable, Josh? Yep, let's just get this over with. <sighs> Dr. Brower? Dr. Brower? There's someone with you. Wh what? What did you say? Dr. Brower, what did you say? please. <clears throat> Hello? Hey! Can you let me out? The door is open. Okay, okay, let me out. Let me out! Hey, Dr. Brower! Dr. Brower, let me out! Come on, get me out of here! Hello? Hey! Just let me out. Let me out, let me out, let me out! Dr. Brower, come on. Let me out. Come on. 
just loud. Oh, what's that? You okay? What was that? What was that? Why did the lights go out? Calm down. You, you said the lights went out? All the lights went out, and I got stuck in there, man. And I saw... <sighs> Mr. Lambert, you've been asleep for 15 minutes. You went right out. Uh, your MRI went perfectly. <sighs> Close the door! Some uh, supplies. Hey, Paige. I am Nick. Tonight is your night, bro. Tonight is your night. Gotcha. You, bro. You want to dance? Yes, we can dance. We can dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. <laughs> Quiet. Are you good? Uh, I'm about, about three fifteen, <laughs> three eighteen. Have the breakfast. <laughs> you get down to two sixty-five. Then call. Yeah. I think my gym clothes shrunk. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. There you go, baby. Yep. I'm going to get like five of them. <laughs>
So George Foreman begins the most unlikely of comebacks. Sacramento crowd is getting restless. Quit dancing! They're looking for some action. Stop playing with it. You come here to fight me. You want me going home? Come on. Let's do this. Let's fight. You want to fight? Let him out. It's now or never. You let him out. Let him out. I'm gonna do this my way, Doc. I'm gonna do it my way. I'll tell you this, George can still punch. Oh, 
Are you okay? Are you hurt? Valentine, how's it going? <laughs> so, uh, Jill, what are those things doing here? They were tourists. That's one fucked up tour. You got a gun? Nope. Lost it. Here. Thanks. Uh, 